And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our master of ceremonies, but a gentleman nevertheless, Mr. Jack Benny. Thanks. Thank you. Hello again. This is Gentleman Jack talking, America's representative youth. And unless I am mistaken, the Bull Brummel of the air, and by my own consensus of opinion, a swell guy. I must say you're modest. Oh, yes, Aloys. I'm not a bit egotistical. In fact, I'm much nicer than I think I am. Mm. That may be. But I certainly think you could be a little more careful about your appearance on the Sunday night program. Why, Aloy Chevrilla. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I thought of that, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I mean this, that you might at least wear a collar and tie. But, Aloys, I'm broadcasting. I mean, who can see me? So, well, that isn't the idea. You must wear a collar on Sundays. Listen, Avril, in New York State, only dogs must wear collars. Huh. Maybe that's what he meant. <laughs> Listen, I... Well, I wish you fellows had let me alone. I have so many clever things to say tonight, really. Uh... Well, I didn't mean to get personal about your collar and tie, Jack. No. But after all... Our listening audience imagines this is an elaborate studio. Yes, of course. They also imagine that we're immaculately dressed. Yeah, well, let them imagine that I'm wearing a collar and tie. <laughs> He's right, Jack. Look at that suit you've got on. Yeah, what's the matter with it? Nothing, but you can get a press for 40 cents. Yeah, I'll remember that. Mm. Uh, where's your other suit, Jack? This is it, Aloys. <laughs> is that the only suit you've got? No, no, I have two. Of course, the other one is a bathing suit. It's still pretty cold out, you know. You, can... you know, this suit I'm wearing now was made to order. Made to order? Yes, for Slim Somerville. <laughs> that was Frank Black's line, folks, but I beat him to it, you know. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jack. Hello, Mary. Say, Jack, why don't you get a shave before you come to the studio? It's none of your business. Well, it's a barber's business. He has to eat, too. Ah, friends, don't let my gang disillusion you. I'm just a little eccentric, that's all. Frank, what does eccentric mean? Cheap. Oh, sure. I think Jack's very eccentric. <laughs> Thanks. Well, here I am, if it means anything. Oh, hello, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Parker, do you see anything the matter with me? Well, you're all right, but your shoes need to shine, and I don't like that shirt. Well, as long as I'm all right, why worry, you know? Is that a first-run shirt you're wearing? What do you mean, first run? Did it make its first appearance on your back, or did somebody else break it in? Listen, this shirt... Now, wait, this shirt belongs to me. Well, it looks pretty bad. Yeah. Say, when you're as old as that shirt, you'll look bad, too. <laughs> you didn't beat me to that one. Yeah. That was Frank Black, who gets more mileage out of a pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I wear them. Oh. <laughs> Well, I could say something, but one of us has to give in, you know, folks. You can't fight all night. Eh? Say, why don't you fellas leave Jack alone? You're always picking on him. Thanks, Mary. Thanks. You're welcome. But for heaven's sake, comb your hair. That doesn't cost anything. Yeah, well, I haven't got a comb. Well, I'll put a chalk line in the middle. Now, listen. Wait a minute. Listen, all of you. I had enough of this tonight. Clothes and appearance mean nothing. It's all bunk about clothes making the man. Did Columbus wear a tuxedo when he discovered America? No, it was an old Spanish costume. All right, wait a minute, all right, I'll grant you that gag. But when Lincoln posed for the penny, did he worry about clothes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, all right, then let's take Washington. When he crossed the Delaware, did he wear an evening suit? No, he crossed in the morning. All right, then, let's take, uh, let's take, uh, oh, never mind, play, Frank. <laughs> Frank Black and his tailor-made men playing Going to Heaven on a Mule from the motion picture Wonder Bar. Frank, you should have put that mule in reverse, you know. And now we're going to hear from Frank Parker, our romantic tenor, who will sing, uh, uh, Frank, what do you want to sing tonight? With a song in my heart from Spring is Here. What, no smoke gets in your eyes? Well, I cut out smoke and I'm just going to sing. Oh, I see. Well, Parker, listen, before I forget it, I received a fan letter this morning requesting that you sing a certain number. It's, uh, Mary, uh, hand me that letter, will you? Oh, this job is just one thing after another. No rest, no recreation, just one half hour of solid toil. Give me that letter, will you? Here it is, Frank. It says, uh, uh, Jack Benny, care front of Ritz-Carlton Hotel, New York. <laughs> funny how... It's funny how people find out where you're living. 
It says, uh, we'll be listening to your program Sunday night. Please ask Frank Parker to sing Home Again by John Dillinger. John Dillinger? Yes, it uh, says John Dillinger, FRD7, Iowa, Illinois, Nebraska, or where do you think? <laughs> Just a man about town. <laughs> I think we better answer that. Mary, take a letter. Uh, say, uh, Mr. John Dillinger. USA. Or Canada. Uh, dear sir, if you will send us a three-cent stamp and your address, we will be glad to mail you a copy of this song. Is that, is that all, Jack? That's all. Sing, John. I mean, Parker. <laughs> you like that, Mr. Dillinger. That was with a song in my heart sung by Frank Parker. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for our weekly surprise. I know that many of you have seen that very entertaining motion picture, Henry VIII. Now, tonight, we are going to offer... Say, Jack. Yes, Aloys. Some of my friends listened into our program last Sunday, and they were talking about that duel you fought with Frank Black. Well? Well, I hate to bring this up, Jack, but it's the general opinion among my friends that you lack courage. <laughs> Tell him to perish the thought, Aloys. Really. <laughs> I mean, in the first place, we were only kidding. And personally, I think fighting a duel is rather foolish. You don't gain anything by it. Oh, that's true. But you know, Aloys, I'd like to find some other way of showing Black that I'm gamer than he is. So would I. You see, he's always ready to start an argument. <laughs> well, there ought to be some way of settling this little feud between you two to find out who is the gamer. I think so, yeah. uh, Why don't you fellows toss a coin and see which one buys a drink? No, I think that's overdoing it a little, you know. Yes, there must be some other way of... Yeah, I think so. I, I wonder what would be a real test of courage. Hey, boys, I've got a great idea. What is it? Listen, I know where there's an old haunted house. The weirdest place you've ever seen. People are even afraid to pass there. Where is it? Oh, about 12 miles out on Gun Hill Road. Mm -hmm. Nobody has lived there for years. And the only three people who ever entered that house were never seen again. So what? Well, why don't you and Frank each spend a night there? And the fellow who comes out alive wins. Oh, isn't there any place money? No. Oh. <laughs> well, how about it, Frank? Are you game? Well, uh... Well, uh... I, uh... I, uh... How about you, Jack? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> These heroes come to you through the courtesy of Chevrolet. The most dependable car in the low price. Well, well I, I suggest we drop the whole thing and... Nothing you... doing. You will hurt the dignity of this program. Don't be afraid, Jack. I'll go with you. Is it all right if I take my orchestra along? <laughs> no. This is the test of courage between you two men. Now, which one of you will volunteer to spend the first night in the haunted house? I said... Which one of you two will spend the first night there? Hmm. This is a quiet program tonight. <laughs> how about you, Black? I'd love to, but I have some musical arrangements to make tonight, and I... Uh... Now, how about you, Jack? Well, I have to help Frank. I know something about music, too. You know? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll toss a nickel, and the loser will have to spend the first night in that haunted house alone. Oh, what do you say? Heads or tails? Yes. Here goes. Heads. Tails it is. You lose, Jack. Congratulations. Hey! Okay, I'll go. Well, so long, gang. <laughs> so long, Jack. Don't forget to write. Wait. Let's all ride down with Jack and see that he gets in the right house. Oh, you don't have to come along. I'll find it. And oh, I'll... yeah? Don't bother. What the... Well, we're going with you. Come on. Everybody, I'll drive you out there. Okay with me. Me too. Playboys, we'll be right back. <laughs> Nothing bothers Jack. Here's some cigarettes, Jack, in case you get nervous. What kind are they? Oh, what's the difference? This is an automobile program. See here, Swindy. What a gloomy place. Shutters are all open. I'll say it gives me the treat. 
This place is over 150 years old. Mm. Here. Looks like rain, too. That's all I need. If somebody says boo, I'll die. Boo! Oh, my pal. Well, gang, guess we might as well get back. So long, Jack. Sleep tight. Goodbye, Jack. Mary, aren't you going to stick around? No, I'm going to Cotton Club. Oh, have a good time, huh? Come on, fellas, let's go. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, Jack. So long. I guess I'd better get in the house before it rains. Sure is windy. Well... Well, feet, come on, we're going places. <laughs> Let's walk up those steps like a little major. <laughs> hmm. So this is a haunted house, eh? I bet it's just an old shack with a bad reputation. <laughs> well, here's a bell. Maybe there's someone home. Hmm, nobody home. Well, might as well go in, get to bed, and get inside now. Uh, see, everything looks nicely arranged in the parlor. <laughs> From the time I played bridge for it, there was nobody in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, just an old clock ticking. <laughs> see, funny how these little things upset you. Well, I guess I might just as well sit down. All alone, just all alone. Just the wind blowing the shutters. <laughs> Gee, everything scares you. Wait till Black gets here tomorrow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Say, I wonder if this is really a haunted house. Mice, I'm going home. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that coming down the stairs? Funny, I... Can't see anyone. Did you ring for me, sir? What? Did you ring for me? That's strange. I hear a voice, but I don't see anybody. Who are you? I'm the ghost of the maid who used to work here. Yeah, but, 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 but where where are you? Right here beside you. <laughs> That's news to me. <laughs> don't be afraid. I suppose you're hungry after your long trip here. Yeah. What can I bring you to eat? Funny, I... Don't see you, but but I'll have a ham and egg sandwich. Good. I will bring you a phantom ham and egg sandwich. Can be a phantom egg, but I must see the ham. <laughs> First, let me show you around the house. Follow me. But I can't see you. I heard you broadcast, and I can't see you either. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's good. <laughs> Come. Come with me. Ah! Where are you? Where are you, I say? Oh, Jack, it must be your imagination. That was no maid. What's the matter with you? Are you losing your nerve? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm getting out of here. Where's that door? Isn't that funny? I could have sworn there was a door here, and now it's a fireplace. Oh, maybe. Just my nerves. I better sit down here and take it easy. I'm a... Quiet myself. Smoke it in your eyes. Smoke it in your eyes. Smoke it in your eyes. Who's that singing? That's queer. I've heard those songs so much, I imagine I'm hearing them now. Chevrolet, 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 Chevrolet. Oh, just Chevrolet, as plain Chevrolet, as day. Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> Calm yourself, Jack. It's just mental, that's all. Oh, sit down, Emperor Jones. You is all right. You're just... You're just hearing things, that's all. Come up sometime. Why don't you come up sometime? Why don't you Who's that? Sometime? Who's that? Why don't you come up sometime? It's May. Where are you, May? I can't see you. I'm not making any personal appearances. Sit down, Jack. You're expecting too much from a haunted house. Chevrolet, 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 Chevrolet. Quiet, Chevrolet. you're overdoing it. I must get out of here. I don't care. Frank Black does win this bet. Ah! Who are you? Oh, just a bet sheet running around. Hmm. <laughs> the ghost of Mahatma Gandhi. Say, ghost, come here. I, I'd like to ask you something. Chevrolet, 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 Chevrolet. There it goes again. Don't tell me you didn't hear that. I'm getting out of here before I go mad. There must be an exit someplace. Ah, there's a door. I wonder where it leads to. I'll try it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hello 
again. This is Jack Benny talking. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? I'm the ghost of Jack Benny. But I'm not dead yet. That's what you think. I must get out of here. There's a place marked exit. It says walk, don't run. It's a fine time for jokes. Keith, keep it as dark. Stop. <laughs> Who are you? Sarah Livingston. Sarah Livingston? Mary Livingston's great-great-grandmother. Funny, you don't look a day older than Mary. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm looking for the ghost without a nose. You're telling me, huh? How do you get out of here? Please tell me. Huh? Walk up that flight of stairs, and there you will see an exit. Follow that exit to the bathroom. The bathroom? Can I get out that way? No, but you can take a bath. Thanks. <laughs> now we're getting someplace. I must try something else. Try the new 1934 Chevrolet. That will take you anywhere. I'm going upstairs. There must be a way out of this house if it's through the chimney. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not alone on these stairs. I hear lots of feet. Hey, Tanky, go home now. Oh, the ghost of Garbo. <laughs> well, here I am upstairs. There's still no place. If I don't get out of here, I'll go crazy. Now, here's the door. This must lead to the roof. I'll open it. Hello, friends. <laughs> what? How's by you, pal? For heaven's sake, are you a ghost too? What else? <laughs> Get out of my way. I can't. I'm haunting this house. Haunting? Hmm? Of course. I was a haunter all my life. I used to haunt lions and tigers in Africa. Well? So one day a big lion chased me. And what happened? I was killed. Oh. And here I am. I know, but what... What, what, what brought you to this house? Say, once a hunter, always a hunter. Don't you get lonesome here? No, my wife is here with me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Come, baby. Yeah, I like him thin. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ghostberg. Mr. Ghostberg, listen, please. Tell me how I can get out of this house, will you? Oh, you're leaving so soon? Yes, I'm going nuts. Well, I'll tell you what to do. Put on my bed sheets and walk right through that toy door. Why do I have to wear that sheet? Well, they only let ghosts out of here. So remember the password. If any other ghost stops you, just say, herring, herring, herring. With onions? No, just plain herring. Oh. <laughs> All right, give me that sheet. Is that the door there? Yes. And remember, herring is the password. Goodbye, Mr. Ghostberg, and thanks. So long, stranger. Herring, 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 I say. Herring, herring. <laughs> Why, Frank, Parker, Mary, what are you all doing here? <laughs> You're some brave guy. What are you doing with that sheet? Hey, what's the idea of this, anyway? Why, this is Frank Black's house. We're all here to play a little joke on you. A him. joke on me, yeah. eh? Sure, we were making all those noises in the other room. Oh, you were, eh? <laughs> you guys kill me. I knew it all the time. Play, Frank. The rat. <laughs> 23rd program on the 11th of March. Well, we must leave you now and we'll be with you again next Sunday night. I hope you folks didn't think I was really frightened in that house. You know? no. <laughs> As if I didn't know they were kidding, you know. Hmm, still windy out. Well, Mary, come on, let's go. All right, Jack, but take that bed sheet off first. Good night, folks. <laughs> This program has come to you through the courtesy of the motor car dealers in your community who represent the 1934 Chevrolet 6. This is the National Broadcasting Company.